इम्पोर्टेंट जिना डायोड जिना डायोड एज कॉन्स्टेंट वोल्टेज पावर सप्लाई एज कॉन्स्टेंट वोल्टेज पावर सप्लाई जिना डायोड एज कॉन्स्टेंट वोल्टेज पावर सप्लाई कॉन्स्टेंट वोल्टेज पावर सप्लाई कॉन्स्टेंट वोल्टेज पावर सप्लाई सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू ड्रॉ सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ एंड जिना डायोड मीन्स ऑफ पी एस डी वन टाइप ऑफ पी एन जंक्शन डायोड रिवर्स वायर्स पी एन जंक्शन डायोड दिस इज एन इनपुट रेजिस्टेंस और रेजिस्टेंस कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन विथ जेना डायोड Here we can uh, draw a Jenner diode. We can draw a Jenner diode. This is a Jenner diode. This side is P side and this side is N side. And this is a Jenner diode. Reverse biased uh, diode acting in the region CD in reverse characteristics. Jenner diode. This is a Jenner diode. रिवर्स बायस पिन जंक्शन डायोड दिस इज द लोड रेजिस्टेंस आर एल पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ इनपुट एंड नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ फ्लक्चुएटिंग इनपुट यार व्हाट वी कैन राइट this is fluctuating dc input this is fluctuating dc input uh, and uh, right hand side uh, what type of output will be obtained constant dc output will be obtained uh, right hand side constant dc output will be obtained at the uh, output terminal at the input fluctuating dc input is applied uh, and at the output terminals constant dc output will be obtained or constant direct voltage will be obtained will be obtained and this is what um, obviously uh, what constant voltage power supply and below this what we can write constant voltage or regulated power supply power supply in this case the jena diode in this case the jena diode is joined is joined in reverse bias in reverse biased to what to the fluctuating to the fluctuating dc dc input but through in through an input resistance ri input resistance ri in this circuit diagram ri is the input resistance that means uh, obviously this jena diode is reverse biased is jo joint in reverse bias because this p site is connected to this negative terminal that's why it is reverse biased and uh, this jena diode is connected to this fluctuating dc input through what resistance through this input resistance ri 
this is the input resistance through which Jenner diode is connected to what type of DC input? Fluctuating DC input. Fluctuating DC input. And in this case, when the fluctuating DC, in, uh, DC input increases, when the fluctuating DC direct current input DC input increases, increases beyond a certain limit, beyond a certain limit, comma, the current through the Jenner diode, the current through the Jenner diode, through the Jenner diode, current through the Jenner diode, current through the Jenner diode circuit. Increases sharply, increases sharply. Therefore, there is an increase, there is an increase, there is an increase in voltage, voltage drop across the input voltage Ri, across the input uh, resistance Ri, input resistance. R i. That means when uh, the fluctuating DC increases beyond a certain limit, uh, there is an increase in voltage across the input. So initially, uh, input voltage was 10 volt. Input voltage is 10 volt. So obviously, 10 volt is the voltage across the inner diode, and similarly, 10 volt is the voltage of constant DC output. Now after a certain time this 10 volt increases to 10 volt 10.2 volt because it is fluctuating DC input. In that case there is an increase in voltage drop across the input resistance Ri. In that case 0 0.2 volt will be obtained across this input uh, resistance, input resistance. That means what uh, at the input voltage changes from 10 volt to 10.2 volt, but uh, voltage uh, across the Jenner diode and constant DC output remains constant. But that difference in voltage. That means initial voltage was 10 volt, initial voltage was 10 volt, but it changes to 10.2 volt. That difference in voltage will be obtained across this input resistance. Initial voltage was 10 volt, now it becomes 10.2 volt. So difference in voltage is 0 0.2 volt. That will be obtained across this input resistance Ri. So that is why here what we can write, what about the voltage across the Jenner diode and the load resistance, it remains constant. Here what you can write, this is the main line, hence the voltage drop, hence the voltage drop, hence the voltage drop across the Jenner diode, across the Jenner diode and across the load resistance across the load resistance RL falls to normal value, falls to normal value means falls uh, to uh, 10 volt, falls to normal value of 10 volt. This is the working of a Jenner diode as constant power supply. At the input voltage changes to 10.2 volt, but at the output we get always 10 volt. That means at the output, uh, what type of voltage will be obtained? Constant voltage will be obtained, whether the voltage is fluctuating at the input terminals, at the input terminals, at the input terminals. Say the input voltage and if we copy the diagram. Initial voltage was 10 volt. 
and voltage across the generator diode is again 10 volt and voltage across the load resistance RL or at the output terminal is 10 volt. Now it changes to 10.3 volt. So now 10 volt changes to 10 volt and this 10 volt changes to 10 volt. What will be the voltage across the input resistance RI? The difference in voltage 0 0.3 volt will be obtained across the input re resistance Ri. So that means if voltage at the input fluctuates, fluctuates, uh, voltage at the output remains constant. Voltage at the output terminals or at the output remains constant. Voltage fluctuates at the input but uh, the voltage at the output remains constant. That is called, Jenard, that is the working of a Jenard diode as a constant voltage power supply. So, today up to this next day we shall discuss what is rectifier and transistor. Next day we shall complete this chapter uh, that is rectifier and transistor.